kwanza ni kipi kilikuleta hapa Mombasa na kwa nini umeka muda mrefu kuna na wakati wa nyuma ambao umekuja Mombasa. Mhm. Nimekaa days for days. Yeah. But honestly by this day ka away from home for four days. Ata more than two days ni ngumu sana. But the reason nilikuja as I had told you earlier tukiwa pale airport is because it's our anniversary month. So tumekuwa tuki work for the first one month without of coming getting out of the work environment. You know, hali ukiwa Nairobi hali Nairobi hata kama utaki ku work unapatanga phone call inabidi umeenda job hata kama ulikumia mwa leo ni siku ya kupumzika so we decided to come and rest a little bit kuna watu pia wanasema bado hatujapumzika but i feel like me personally i feel like nimepumzika and pia tulitaka kupatana na tulitaka kupatana na kina nyota you know they are representing us here na na marafiki wetu waka, wakaribu na i'm hoping today by the way, by the today i'm going to meet my biggest fan my biggest fan is from anatoka hapa Mombasa she's called Winnie ako on the way anakuja amekuwa kini support since i was i think i was 100 subscribers hadi wale ukiangalia kwa video zangu zote utapata wini ka sweetie anajitanga hivyo kwa mtandao so i'm hoping pia nitapatana na ye. it's been awesome imekuwa poa sana kuka hapa i wish ni extend but nikiendelea kuka i feel like nitaribu stay nyingine but the reason ilikuwa hapa purposely it was about a uh, rest too yeah uh, nasema kuwa content creation wa mediki so unaweza ambiaje watu maana ke tunaona content creation imefikisha mediki kwa nani wanasema? <laughs> okay, kuna watu baadhi wanasema ti content creation like haiwezi kufikisha msema ile imefika. Hmm. So to you does it pay Ime Content pay. creation pays really well, but you have to strategize. You have to be very very keen with what you do. You have to be very keen with the kind of content you put out there. Kwa sababu pia content creation you have to spend. Ni kama biashara tu nyingine venye utaendea stock. Tuseme una biashara ya manguo, utaendea stock na pia utata, utauza umetumia transport umekula lunch so it's it's more of any other business that you can do and i feel like content creation actually pays well than hata biashara nyingine me personally i don't think kuna mtu anaweza kuniajiri anilipe the kind of money that i get from from content creation itself and yeah it pays well but you have to work really hard extra hard yeah so katika content creation ile pesa ambayo unatengeneza nyingi inatoka from Uh, YouTube direct ama toka endorsements ama okay personally if you're keen enough to check on my brand uh sijakuwa nikiwaka na brands for the me I've been in the industry for one year only and that one year sijakuwa nikiwaka na brands right now ndo nimeanza kuwa with brands so pesa nyingi yangu utoka kwa YouTube direct and the reason natuko tumeanza ku go to the brands it's because bado tuko tume study unajua When you get into something you have to take time you study it ujue mambo na brand inaenda ngaje endorsements yani lazima you work for your brand so that pia wao wakuje wa approach unajua it's like they investing in you how easy ku approach kama bado hujafika level fulani wao wanataka so most of our cash comes from youtube direct but right now we're working with several people we're working with restaurant developers tume work na watu kadhaa so we can say right now pia inatoka places zingine na pia promotion i do youtube promotion probably mtu ametoa ngoma msanii ananiita i also cover events mtu anaweza kanita na ni kuna event fulani ngetaka nifike i cover na nipia my share so right now the sources are so many watu wengi wanasema kwamba huwa si vizuri kutaya kuchanganya mapenzi na kazi mm-hmm. but so far so good wewe na Trevor umeweza ku manage vizuri sana as in vile mko na in a relationship na habari unafanya kazi pamoja umeendelea kufanya kazi pamoja je yeah, ikitokea kutokea as in kama mbaya imetokea imekuwa mbaya mm-hmm. muki muki break up mm-hmm. as in mmepanga mtafanyaje Maombi yako wewe na yaona. Yaani kija kutokea huyu jamaa mumak. But anyway, what I'd say is apart from us being being in a relationship, we are best of friends. Initially before that we started dating, we were friends. We understand each other very well. And in case inaweza ika happen, me I don't think inaweza tuzuia kuendelea na biashara. And I don't think inaweza ika happen because I don't know why inaweza happen. It's been long. But ah ingine nife <laughs> But I don't think it's something that it can happen but in case it happen she she feel like it's something that is supposed to stop the business side because business business na mapenzi it's something that is totally different yeah Type your content type of content in your network for YouTube in affect mingine mtu kupata endorsements kwa kampuni Yeah ukweli 
ukiangalia the kind of content that you used to do there are so many contents uh, that nowadays you, do, you no longer do we when nyota to this time there are so many videos that nyota will do atutumie tumwambia hii nyota ai kidogo brand hapana ukifika pale fulani if you if you working on your brand you know there are two people there are two kind of content creators kuna watu yeah they don't matter about the brand yani they don't care about the brand wao wako hapo they do any kind of the stories so long as in a letter views for us there are so many stories that we no longer cover that we used to cover ukiangalia like the period that I was in Mombasa last time kuna zile story niko nafanya sijui manzo wa Mombasa sijui nini right now i can't do them not because that nina maringo ama nini it's because of the brand there's something that i'm working on so that those people how what when you wanna endorsement wa kiniangalia they can see that this is a brand that that i can invest on so yeah pia content inachangia kikubwa but what i would say is if you are young Eh jibambe yani fanya content yoyote kwa sababu if you get up there itakuwa ni hard sana such kind of content zingine kuzifanya the way you are till now we don't know that one day you talk up pali and something it honestly uh sijai kachi siko ikachi ni nikajiona like i'll ever get to where i am I was just working hard we were doing we were doing job yani tunafanya tu kazi ya kawaida personally the team trevor was introducing me to this thing he was introducing me niache kukuwa idol because i was very idol i was doing nothing nimekaa tu i never saw it coming but i prayed god at least anifikishe mahali and i would say it's just uh, ni god's grace to see at ni kitu nilipangia how did you manage the social media ah how did i manage actually you're supposed to ask how do i manage because that ukiingia sasa hizo tamata mtu okay how i deal with it is mimi you see the only person who knows me utapata ni mamangu Trevor yani a few people ndo wananijua utapata mtu mwenye hadi hata na comment pale anijui yani i feel like in this in this country so many people are idol and others they are just bitter because of their own reasons and they feel like coming to attack you in our release kama wewe una feel ukikuja kwa page yangu nitukane uta feel vizuri instead ya kwenda ujinyonge you just do it just come insult me I don't take it by the way harshly but there are some people who i reply unajua in our society imekuwa 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 ni kama if you are a public figure unafa utukanu utukanwe uchafuliwe jina no so i reply me i don't take it that me i i do it according way if you insult me and i'm in that mood of responding i will respond mm-hmm. tutapelekana tupelekane and most of the time you find that a person who insult you kwa comment section atakuja inbox huku apologizea they feel so guilty hadi aki comment pale youtuber comment vibaya they feel like you know them and you actually you don't know them wana kuja hadi ku apologize so it's something that unaiachana tu na pia you pray god it's god's grace pia kwa sababu it can be tough initially used to cry nikianza used to feel like quitting kwa sababu watu nilikuwa nasema eh hey, amekonda sijui nini and by the way watu huyu jinga ya kusema sijui mtu amekonda sijui akuli we eat a lot we eat sana we eat just that it's our genes and you can do nothing about it Eve amulianza na kufungua kitongoji cha branch ya Eve. Ah, karibu ni Eve. Ni mwana reaction mimi studio kubwa sana Mombasa. Je, inaweza kuwa ndio mwelekeo au ndio mwanzo wa nini kurudia Mombasa kabisa kabisa? Okay, we always wanted to have a branch a branch in Mombasa. We've really tried we've tried with various people and unfortunately uh hijai kwa strong up to now we're still trying because i feel like mombasa bado iko bado iko untouched when it comes to stories i feel like mombasa is somewhere you can get a lot a lot of stories zenye hazijafanywa what you need to do is to push ourselves so so hard so that we can get those stories so that we can get up there because what you can see it's it's really different right now tuko na media mombasa kitambo haikukua it's somewhere that tunaona kuna growth that's why we've decided to come and invest here uh talking of the studio yeah there is tuchipuke studios uh we're working uh, in a partnership with mama shanaria and evans we're working on something and probably ikimalizika in two weeks time we'll be back here we launch it and tell people more about it yeah 2022 ni mwaka siasa mm. na tumeona kwamba umeshift content creation yako kutoka ghetto mm-hmm. na kuja sasa hizo na celebrities je pia tu expect kwa utafanya political content 
I'm still thinking about it. Ukiangalia kwenye channel we tried a little bit of it. But what I would say is if you are to cover political news, I won't do it like personally. I'll have somebody else who will do it. But we just we just waiting for it. Bado tunangoja the right direction. We are tunafanya research to on it akwaje. Yeah. Tunaona last year 2021 hmm. ulienda kwa chama Clinton. Ah, you the two. Itaba. <laughs> So tuko na pale ulikuwa una naishika vikombe vya wai so kwa mtazamo wako unaona chama na natumia pombe ama Ah mm. chama ni yule nikimwangalia vizuri mm-hmm. yani yule jamani wa kanisa always <laughs> Na na unaona ni kwa nini alikuwa ameka hizo glasses Ah kwa sababu ya wageni hata mimi ukija kwangu utapata hata kuna wine na mimi sikunywi. Ni wageni wenye wanaweza wakatumia. Ah ni wageni. Ndio sasa ushapata follow kubwa sana. Mimi upload content alafu napata yendi. Yeah, it happens. Alafu ukatoa mukaache tu. I'll never delete a video at kwa sababu hajapata content. Cuz most of the time actually you find that ile content mimi nime feel napenda hii content. Ni unapata ukieka hiyo yendi. But ila yenye wewe hata auipendi hiyo ndo unapata inaenda. So me personally I wouldn't advise someone to delete a video cuz umeweka umeona eh hey, wana wa bado hajafika hata 1000 hapana. Yache pale wezi jua probably next day inaweza tokea something uh, kitu it trend yenye iko in relation to that content. Unajua hey, itakuwa ni mwanzo wake wa kupanda. So me siwezi delete video. Safara gadimiti. Yeah. Cuz those guys they are really Safara Gadimiti personally I find that guy very talented and he was really in need of a platform. Imagine mtu amekaa chache yani ametembea for 5 years akitafuta just a platform. So if you are in a position to help, it's always good to help. Mimi niliona tu nimpe platform kama hiyo ndio kitu amekuwa amengangania for the longest time. Probably ukimpea it change maisha yake. And you see, I just gave him the platform and right now he's doing well. I love him for what motivates you. What motivates me? Yeah to continue going yeah. poverty mimi yeah. mistake yani mimi umaskini wa yani poverty is bad and it really motivates me to work extra hard growing up there are so many things zenye atungeweza kupata cuz you didn't have enough cash so mimi personally i work extra hard cuz i really want the best life for my kids the ba- the best life for my family i don't want my mom right now anaona mimi niko poa but yeye mwenyewe ayuko sawa like me i work hard yani to elevate poverty